I had to decide what to do ahead. Um, an MBA made the obvious sense, and uh, you know, but I always wanted to get some work ex before going for an MBA. It was always, it would always be beneficial, right, to get some work ex before going for an MBA. Um, and I like the flexibility that the YLP option gave me there. Um, to, you know, get some work ex before joining full time. Round was um, one essay and my previous academics and twelfth college everything. um the academics well i think that was fine uh, the essay part was uh, a bit of a hassle to go through because uh, i think we could choose through either writing about uh, the personal life or my future aspirations and um i really needed to nail down uh, what what would uh, look better on the essay i i remember uh, you guys are assigned uh, you know one i think charul to me uh, she was pretty helpful um we used to go through iterations of the essay multiple times back and forth back and forth um the second round i think was with the gmat score and a recommendation and another essay if i'm not wrong right. um which again charul helped me with uh, she also helped me really craft my resume to the point where it looked very professional mm-hmm. first is the essay which um, i think you guys did a really good job in helping me out with and uh, which i don't think would have been possible without your uh, you know advice because to put down everything in 300 words to really condense it and make it impactful um uh, was a bit tough to do on my own hi uh, i am kushbu agarwal an educational entrepreneur and co-founder at isb mantra today we have the pleasure of speaking with yog philip sha Yuk has been admitted to the YLP program. He graduated from Jaihind College in 2023 and he is here to discuss about his YLP experience with us. Welcome welcome Yuk and thank you for joining us this Saturday afternoon to share your experiences. I congratulate you on your YLP admission and it's wonderful to have you here to discuss about your journey. Let's start by delving into how you apply to the program and exploring the challenges you encountered throughout the application and the interview preparation. So, let's shall we start Yog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go ahead. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, uh so my very first question for you would be what prompted you to apply to the ISB YLP program and at what stage of your life did you make this decision? uh when well, you know i just started my final year in college and um, i had to decide what to do ahead um an mba made the obvious sense and uh, you know but i always wanted to get some work ex before going for an mba it was always it would always be beneficial right to get some work ex before going for an mba um and i like the flexibility that the ylp option gave me there um to you know get some work ex before joining full time and also knowing that you have an admit so you can sort of take some uh, you know uh, risks in your career um which you typically would not be able to if uh, you know if you didn't have an admit in hand something to fall back on right and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much uh, when i made the decision and i think i applied back in uh, august 22 yeah august 22 i think that that was when isb uh, you know for the first time they had their first round of stage 1 so earlier yeah. they always uh, had the stage 1 deadline only in december uh, sorry in march uh, every year that that's interesting so and uh, so what uh, so i see that your applications showcases an impressive array of hobbies and achievement so would want you to elaborate on some of these uh, you know offering insights for prospective uh, ylp applicants um sure so i had um, i had an advantage there uh, with regarding uh, the internships my dad actually really wanted me to get some work ex early on in my life so right after 10th standard we had that 3 month gap before 11th standard started and that was when i did my first internship mm-hmm. um i also it was at a consulting firm very small firm but it gave me really good exposure I also I had another internship in my 12th standard uh where there was a one month uh, summer break right when I just uh, entered 12th uh um, I did some volunteering at TEDx gateway um I you know I handled a few speakers there again a lot of fun uh, different experience 
and uh, you know my my actually the longest internship i ever did i was at edelweiss for about uh, seven months before uh, you know while i was applying actually to isp and uh, yeah so i had a ton of internships i was always uh, a little above average in academics not the topper but uh, uh, yeah i was i would do i would do fine academics wise uh, did some volunteering as well yes um so I would regularly volunteer at healthcare camps happening in and around my area. Again, everything uh, just to get some experience, some uh, just some something good out of my heart, and uh, yeah, just it gave me a pretty well-rounded profile uh, to apply for ISP because um, GMAT is probably be thirty, I think thirty odd percent of your profile, while everything else would matter as well. So. It was it was a clear choice for me. That sort of valuation fit very well in my whole profile. Yes, and that's very well, uh, you know, uh, seen in your application, like how you have used your uh, extracurriculars. So you rightly mentioned that, uh, you know, you didn't jump into big things, but you uh, managed to do small uh, internships and the opportunities that you got right from your family business to the opportunities in and around, uh, you know, your area. So that's interesting. You Thank you so much. And uh, so I also see that, you know, the YLP journey, you know, uh, the YLP journey comprises three stages and it's very demanding. One has to, you know, be aware about the three stages. It's demanding. It's It requires a lot of patience and dedication. So how did you manage each, st each stage and how challenging uh, did you find the process, the overall process? Um, yeah, sure. So, you know, when uh, when I applied August 22, my result wasn't going to be coming until December 23. So obviously it was uh, more than a year of waiting and applying. So I think first first round was um, one essay and my previous academics, 10th, 12th, college, everything. Um, the academics, well, I think that was fine. Uh, the essay part was uh, a bit of a hassle to go through because uh, I think we could choose through either writing about uh, the personal life of my future aspirations and um, I really needed to nail down uh, what what would uh, look better on the essay and uh, since obviously they're going through your essay to judge whether you're going to the next round and uh, you know still being in college I wasn't really sure of what my professional life would look like how, or how I wanted it to look like which I had to portray it in the essay so I, I remember uh, you guys that assigned, uh, you know, one, I think Charul to me, uh, she was pretty helpful. Um, we used to go through iterations of the essay multiple times, back and forth, back and forth. Right. Uh, um, that was, yeah, I think that was the first round. Um, the second round, I think, was the GMAT score and a recommendation and another essay, if I'm not wrong. Right. Um, which, again, Charul helped me with. Uh, she also helped me really craft my resume to the point where it looked very professional. Uh, the one I initially made looked uh, sort of childish, I'm not going to lie. Um, so... Yeah, she was pretty helpful. The recommendation I got, I was I got lucky because uh, my uh, the, my boss who I was working under at Edelweiss at that time was also from ISB, okay. so I took a recommendation from him, and um, yeah, it was uh, the essay again took quite a few iterations back and forth, almost like a month or two to really sort of nail down, um, and then. Uh, Oh, yeah, the interview round was also quite nail biting. I think one uh, one week before the interview, I I got uh, the email that you've been selected for an interview, and I was scrambling, you know, because I'm not prepared. Uh, it was quite uh, quite uh, quite a time crunch at that time. So again, I think I reached out to you guys, and you guys connected me to uh, Dr. Naveen Das also. Vikram also took an interview. And um, I also had a mock interview with one ISB alum. Um, right. All of that was pretty helpful in building up my confidence, really nailing down my, my answers. Um, what was surprising was that my actual interview questions was barely it resembled uh, what I did in my mock, but the mock really helped me uh, at least get the confidence of knowing and going in and 
you know, it's just uh, treating it like a conversation than an interview, which which I think really helped my case. That's that's interesting, and that's what uh, you know. We always tell to our applicants that uh, when you uh, prepare with us for the interview, it's the approach that you have to build in. And you rightly mentioned that it's not the same questions that were asked, but then you had the uh, you know approach on how to answer different type of questions that are asked in an interview. Glad glad to know about it, and glad uh, that you took our services to all the three stages uh, of your uh, YLP preparation. So. Uh, where did you hear about ISB Mantra and, uh, you know, how was your overall experience uh, working with us? So back when I was um, looking to apply to ISB, I I just, I knew I had like one choice, one chance to apply in the YLP program because I was graduating anyways after that. And I really wanted to put my best foot forward. And, uh, you know, I was just searching for consultants for MBAs to apply with to help me on essay, just profile, resume and everything. And I came across you guys. I saw that Vikram was previously at ISB and so was uh, Dr. Naveen. Right? And I said, who better to help me apply than uh, you guys, right? Since you are <laughs> ISB focused, uh, you guys would probably know the best. Uh, and I, it was a no-brainer after that. I think I had a call with you guys. I had a call with Vikram. And uh, yeah, and then I just signed up immediately. That's that's uh, that's so good to hear about the confidence that yeah, you yeah, have yeah. with ISB Mantra before signing up, and it's uh, it's it's really uh, you know uh, it's really grateful. It's really a pleasure for us when uh, you know there is an admit and uh, when someone has taken our service for all the three stages, especially. That's interesting. And uh, so, uh, what's your uh, plans? So what are your plans for the next two years before commencing your course at the YLP program? So I am um, currently working in a venture capital fund called ATI Ventures as an analyst and investment team. And I plan to be here um, until I join ISP. Uh, it's been a really great learning curve. I've, I've been interacting with a lot of smart founders. I've been doing some really good work under a very good uh, boss. Mm -hmm. um and um i don't i don't plan on leaving uh you know it's just the more good quality experience you get before an mba is what will really matter because uh, academics is yeah sort of a part of it but um in the end a lot will also depend on the quality of your work x and uh, i believe i'm getting some really high quality working experience where i am right now Okay, so you may want to defer it to next year, like 2025 is your admit, uh, like the class, but you may want to defer it, you, you're going to decide it maybe, I know how it happens at your workplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would, that and would, that's, yeah. that's so interesting, because while you are working, you are already secure, you know, that, uh, you know, if there is something you want to do, then you have an ISB degree in hand. So I think that works so much in favor, uh, uh, you know, to have this uh, well before, uh, you know, while you're working. That's that's. There. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it would really help because uh, when you're in the study zone, when you're in college, you're getting done with your GMAT, you're getting done with all the application part of it. And uh, it would really be tough while you're working to do GMAT, do the application, the essay and everything. Right. So it was sort of a no-brainer to apply to the YLP to get everything done with when you're in that study zone, in the academic zone. Right. As opposed to when you're out in the real world, you're working and you barely have time. True, true. So did you happen to like tell this to your colleagues that you are already in YLP admit or you would, uh, you know, want it to be not disclosed uh, to the uh, team? Like, how is it? No, no, I've already told them that I'm a YLP. So that, that, that's, that's such a good, you know, you would feel, that's what I wanted to say, you know, that it feels such a secure feeling when you have an admit while you're working. You know what you have to do yeah. after two years, right? That's interesting. So any advice uh, you would like to offer to aspiring ISB YLP candidates based on your experience, Yoke? Um, I would say that uh, really, so two parts of it. First is the essay, which um, I think you guys did a really good job in helping me out with, and uh, which I don't think would have been possible without your, uh, you know, advice. Because to put down everything in 300 words to really condense it and make it impactful, um, 
was a bit tough to do on my own. So mm-hmm. one would probably be nailing the essays since that those are uh, a huge part of your application. The second is probably do some stuff outside of college or school or wherever you are so that, uh, you know, you have, you're not, you're a bit differentiated from the others that apply. You're not the same uh, guy. But while academics also matter, uh, um, this, this would probably give you a well-rounded overall profile to uh, really apply to, apply with. Yeah. So that, that's true. And that is, uh, that's very well seen in your profile. You know, your extracurriculars, your uh, essays, your achievements, your academic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, uh, immensely for uh, detailing your path from selecting ISB to achieving success and uh, for sharing your future aspirations, Yog. I wish you all the best and thank you once more, Yog. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kushbu. Thanks a lot.